Hey guys, it's Trinity and we are going to be making a scarf out of a shirt. This is totally easy. It's been on the YT and blogs for days. So let's get started. Okay, so the shirt that I got is from Walmart and it's extra large. The bigger the shirt, the longer the scarf. Okay. Alright, so I already turned my shirt inside out just because I had a few lint problems on the top, on the front of mine. But um, next I'm just going to be marking out how thick I want my strips. And next, you're going to be cutting the bottom. Now what I did, you don't have to, but the shirt that I bought, the tag comes on the bottom. So I don't want that to be part of my scarf. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off. Okay, next we're going to be cutting near the armpit, right below the armpit, because we're not, not going to need that part either. Okay, next, now that you're done, we're going to just start cutting. Now, the white marks that I did make, that was just if you want your strips to be very neat and perfect. But me, I do not want my strips to be, they do not have to be perfect. I really don't think it's going to matter after you stretch the fabric anyway. So, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get my cut on. Okay, next, so right after you stretch the fabric, this is kind of what it's going to look like, just giving you a little mini demo. And now just go ahead and continue cutting the pieces. You can choose to either cut and stretch, or you can cut and cut all of them and then stretch them off. Okay, so right after you're done, I kind of just didn't want to stretch them as I cut. So I went ahead and cut all of mine, and then now I'm stretching. And I stretched the mine kind of hard just because I want it to be long and very, you know, very thin. So now that you're done, just to kind of get more organized, you're just going to take each piece and kind of just line them up with the other. And you do not want to tangle this scarf like you do not want to tangle this process because trust me it it can get really tangly surprisingly it really can okay and then next you're going to be taking one of those pieces now this piece right here this piece was actually a piece that was way too thin so if you do mess up on one strip it's okay because you're going to need one anyways so i'm just going to be taking that and I'm going to be wrapping that around the scarf to kind of just tie it all together just on one area now I know this is going to look extremely handmade and you know people may think that it may look a little bit sloppy but I actually like this look it looks very handmade and I want it to look handmade and I think it looks nice plus when I wear my scarf I don't ever show that part anyways so next you're going to be taking your hot glue gun just to kind of seal it down I did tie a by just one knot just to secure it and then just fold down those flaps and this is the way it should look very nice and secure And this is the way the scarf should look right here. This is the way it looks when you just wear it, you know, just hanging. And it comes down to my belly button, by the way. Now, there are many ways to actually wear this scarf. Many ways. My favorite way is when I cross it over, which I'm about to show you right now. I'm just going to cross it over and then just put it over my head. 
I really love this look. Love, love, love this look right here. Another way you can wear it is you can kind of wear one piece as a choker and the other piece as like, you know, a longer necklace. Y'all get what I'm saying. And really you can just kind of play around with it as much as you can. You can make it look messy or you can make it look neater. It's really up to you. It's your scarf. Okay, the last style that I really, really like is the messy style. I really like just, just mess it up. It just looks, I don't know, I just like it. You can just mess it up a little bit. And there you have it. So I really hope y'all enjoyed this DIY. It's extremely easy, like anybody can do this. I will be making another DIY, making a scarf. So stay tuned for that. So comment, subscribe, and do what you do, guys. Bye.